Yama, get over here. No, I wanted to go with Masato. Okay, let's go to laser tag. A large dome at the center of the map catches my eye. I tap it for more detail. Ultimate laser tag center brought to you by Luminous uh, Luminous Gate. Luminous Gate. Site code trademark. Uh, Lumps Gate site code. That's the um, glasses, right? Your goggles with interactive displays. It gives you stats and targeting cursors and a mini map, so it feels like you're in a video game. Ah, that sounds actually cool. Really? Um, sort of like VR. Sort of. Yeah, we gotta give it a try. And he races off to the laser center without a second glance. I guess we're going there. Thankfully, no one seems to have any objections. We arrive at the attraction without any interruptions. What are we going to tell Shigure <laughs> when we haven't really searched around for clues, which I don't think this place has any attachments, or at least that's what Yama said. Uh, we're admitted fairly quickly because many are, uh, because our group, maybe, sorry, maybe because our group is large enough to single-handedly create a game. Okay, we need two team captains. Hell yeah, anyone who wants to win, join me. We'll be great at not only shooting stuff, but solving stuff. Join the Harvard Assassination Crew today. Harvard Assassination Crew? What kind of name is that? Well, that's one team captain. Who shall dare contest him? Uh, he bellows this out like an announcer of some twisted reality show. I will. It's preferable to follow an incompetent leader. <laughs> Her enthusiasm is overwhelming. Well, the captain uh, has been selected, so without further ado, it's time to start the draft. Captain Kuragane, you may pick your first minion. Rui. Well, that was quick. I get uh, where he's coming from. You'll be thoughtful, but can be quick on her feet. She's uh, she'd be a good Alexa selection. What about the uh, the energetic one? I don't remember the name of. Uh, at the same time, I don't see the rush to pick her first. It's not like Elizabeth would e ever select her. Fair choice. Hayata is now aligned with the Harvard Association crew. Okay, so Rui is Hayata. Hi, hey, Hayata. <laughs> Rui Hayata. Yeah. Uh, Captain Oshiro, it's your turn. Uh... You can pick two minions as per drafting rules. Official drafting rules for laser tag? It can't hurt. Oshiro, the clock's ticking. So Elizabeth Oshiro? Elizabeth rolls her eyes but glances between the remaining participants. Misaki. That's Kazahaya for the resistance. We're the resistance. A Akira! There you go. Akira. That's her name. This, yeah. That, that's her name. <laughs> what? Why the resistance? I've always wanted to be part of the resistance. Oh, sorry. To be part of a resistance. Kazahaya has joined the resistance. We're not the resistance. But I want to be part of a resistance. It's up to me to choose whether we're in the resistance or not. So, it is the resistance? We are not the resistance. Thankfully, the clamor dies down when Yahiko raises a hand. You may pick one more minion unless you wish to give up your advantage. Never. Considering that getting her, oh sorry, that getting her here was akin to pulling teeth, she's remarkably engaged in all the activities. I choose. Her eyes pass over Akira and flinch at Yahiko for a few seconds, they flicker between me and Irie. Yama, get over here. No, I wanted to go with Masato! <laughs> Everyone falls to silence for a moment, sorry, for a long moment that can be heard in the faint hum of the overhead lights. You're serious? What? You weren't exactly happy with Yama earlier today. 
Can't I pick who I want? I'm the captain. You want him? Not like that. I just want to win. Is that so wrong? Well, I want to win too, and I want to be on Masato's side. No, nothing wrong at all. Guess we'd better get this show on the road, eh, folks? Captain Kuragane, your selection. You may choose two minions. Uh, well, ain't you playing? That I am. Come on over to the Harvard Association crew. Sweet. As Ihiko skips on over, Rui gestures uh, wildly to Masato, tiptoeing to whisper to his ear. Sorry, in his ear. After a brief second, he nods. And the second one is Iri. Iri only blinks for a moment, but at Rui's friendly wave, she travels to Masato's group, which places Karu Kar Karube on the resistance by default. Wait, who is Karube? <laughs> who is that? It's not the resistance. So, oh, Yahiko. Yahiko, right. So without further ado, let's get this game underway. No, wait, Yahiko is, okay. I don't understand, who's Karube? Uh, don your gear, players. We'll see you on the field of justice. With that, Masato leads his group to snatch up lightweight vests and goggles and dash into the black room. That is my phone. I hope you didn't hear that. Elizabeth gathers up, uh, gathers us into a tight circle. Her expression unreadable. Right, I believe it would be of optimal efficiency to place two members of assault, one on defense and one as a intermediary. Sorry. <laughs> Misaki, what do you think of defense? Probably because she trusts Misaki the best. Excellent idea. That's a new face we haven't seen in Misaki before. Good. Yame and I shall lead assault. Probably because she wants to keep an eye on me. Akira. Leave it to me. Top tier intermediary uh, coming right up. Um, what does an intermediary blah, 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 <laughs> do? As we have two members on Assault, you will mainly be covering for Masaki. However, Masaki will generally stay in one location while you run patrols. Gotcha. Mediocre class intermediary is intermediary. Intermediary. Sorry, what? Intermediary. Sorry. I totally just forgot how you pronounce it. <laughs> Coming right up. Elizabeth clearly ignores this. Instead, she heads to the rack, tossing vest and goggles at us. Yama. Yes, your highness. Don't be stupid. Yes, your highness. Although that might prove to be too difficult for you, I feel inspired already. I hope you don't hear fireworks in the background. Right. We've wasted enough time. Let's go. Wait. What about the team chant? We don't need one. She moves to the door, but Akira tugs on her elbow. We can't start a war without a chant. It. It would be a travesty. Apparently, it would be a travesty if we used our time efficiently. Oh, sorry, waste our time efficiently. Is that, is that what she said? It is. Uh, uh, come on, Tom. T Tom. Team bonding is just as important as tactics and individual skill. Fine, but make it quick. Akira salutes her with a cheery wink and gathers us into a huddle. She speaks breathlessly, her eyes shining with enthusiasm. A day may come when we, uh, when the courage of men fails. Quickly, I said. Blah, blah, blah. The day, this day, we fight. Long live the resistance. Ah, uh, heck, why not? Long live the resistance. Let's go, 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 deploy, deploy, deploy. Oh, oh, n nice interface you got here. The bolt um, into the dark room in our vest. As we were swallowed in blackness, I slip my goggles over my eyes. The interface immediately switches on, providing me with slick infographics and motion cursors. In the upper left, I see team portraits that light up as each member speaks. Hmm, looks like psych code, sorry, psych code comes with comms. 
There's also a map, health count, ammo count, and location notifier, except I'm missing a bullet. Meh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whoa. These are stunning. Oh, I've got to get me one of these. Yeah. Wait, what? Why are we at the... What? Why are we at the school cafeteria? Presently, a hum washes over the large chamber and the walls come to live with the images of academy of the academy cafeteria. But why? This is just an amusement park. Why specifically the cafeteria of the school? Whoa, a live simulation. Uh, Lemskate is truly ahead of, our, of their time. Let's get to our position. Despite her brisk words, her face is open and wander. Seems like she's also a fan. As we head to our places, the intercom cuts in with a mechanical sounding female voice. Welcome to the field, blue team. This is the standard capture the flag game, best of one. The lumina uh, looms luminous gate site codes display your health let it fall too far and you shall be disqualified for the rest of the match you should note that your ammunition is limited use it wisely well i'm already missing one as akira and masaki split towards our base on the rooftop elizabeth motions me to a corner at the perimeter oh are we gonna make out stuff it this is uh, the way to, our to their base a quick glance at the mini-map confirms her claim. Why is it so quiet? The game starts. We go together, but cautiously. Isn't it better to attack from two different directions? Who's captain again? Oh, I see. You do want to make out. Stop it. Bloody gallivating mug. Off your trolley, stonking great ego. I can only grin at her as the intercom flickers to life. All players are within their team zone. The game will begin in 10 seconds. True, two, two, good chap. Eight seconds. I say this ought to be a jolly good show. Yama, don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Five seconds. She's going to shoot Yama. I am rather knackered, I am. Yama, you called your highness. She pauses for a moment, clearly struggling to keep a hold of herself. Do you know why I put you on assault with me? To make me miserable? <laughs> because for some reason, the tiniest part of me believed that you might actually be great at it. Her words freeze me to the ground. My mind runs blank. I can only stare at her in disbelief. Zero seconds, the match has begun. A high-toned bell rings through the room. Elizabeth turns her attention to the corridors. Let's go. She talks to the courtyard, even as if I follow her. Sorry, she talks to the courtyard, even as I follow her. My thoughts are a jumble in my head. Uh, great at it? Great at anything? How could I be great at anything? I can't even do anything mildly well. Great. Um, and why would Elizabeth tell me so? The girl who hates my guts? The girl whose guts I hate? Why would she say that I could be great at something? Stop. She throws out her hand. It collides with my chest, sending a rush of sparks up my spine. I quickly step back, shaking the feeling uh, off. There. Yahiko Ikari. Ikari. I turn to where she's pointing. Yahiko is seated on an artificial ledge, his gun on his lap. Hmm, how foolish. She won't even be able to shoot back. Guess we better take it better take care of him. I slightly raise my gun, but Elizabeth slaps at my hand. Hold your gun properly. Excuse me, your highness. I didn't realize that laser tag had rules of combat. I can only help your accuracy, you know. She raises her own gun, her voice lowering to a concentrated whisper. Steady breathing, proper stance, and grip at impo uh, are important, but a good trigger pull is what can make it or break it. Her posture shifts carefully as if gunning someone down was a common occasion. This laser-like focus, she finally moves her finger to the trigger. One 
sharp flick of the finger, the trigger clicks and Hiko immediately jolts up, hands flying to his goggles. Yeah, somebody shot me. Hmm, that should have been a fatal shot. The issue tag would be really short with fatal shots. Oh, be useful and shoot something. I obligingly, <laughs> obligingly, poke my gun out of the hole and fire blindly. Ha, there you are. Not what I had in mind. You have a mind? Shut up and run. We race through the obstacles as shots sound all around us. Finally, we find an out of the way corner where we pause to catch our breaths. Right, you must have a new plan, such as Yuhiko is the only person on defense. We passed no intermediaries on our way here. Paired with Misato's personality, it's highly likely that three people are on assault. So Masaki will be overrun. They probably have the flag by now. Oddly enough, I can respect her at the moment. She seems to know what she's doing. Well, where does that leave us? Hmm? We'll have to kill them on their way back. Akira, come in. What's your status? Akira. Right, their comms must be must have been shot before they could alert us. Uh, alert us. We're on our own, Yama. So what's the plan? You take the red flag and sprint back to our base as soon as possible. I hold them off while I can. But that's suicide. She draws her chin up and gestures to the entrance. Then it should be a worthy sacrifice. Now go and don't look back. Every passing second is a second wasted. The pulsing a uh, warble of laser guns draws closer. I obliging, obligingly dive around the corner and scoop the flag into my arms as Elizabeth screams, Long live the resistance! Maybe she's taking this a little too seriously? She's having fun. Alright, don't ruin it, Yama! Don't be the party pooper here. Well, I guess it's up to me to get the flag to our base before Masato gets back to his. I sprint at full pace, winding through the simulated campus as I hear Elizabeth goading the other team into chasing her. With the flag in tow, I haphazardly make my way back to the base. I've only got so much time before Elizabeth is shot. I'm hit. Looks like Masato actually left someone behind as a guard. That's half my health. That was it. Shoot, Irie. That was her name. It was Irie. I swing around just in time to see a small figure diving behind cover. My health is at 50% at the very least. I've still got a second chance left. Immediately, admittedly, laser tag would be pretty boring if it followed a one shot, one kill system. My group on the pistol titans as I peer from my little refuge. I let on my aim so that it, if the guard emerges, I have a chance to take them down first. I can't react fast enough. Neither of these shots hit when the guard darted from cover to cover. Four shots left and it feels like I couldn't hit them even if my gun was full. I'm down to 25% of health, my health, maybe 20 meters away from capturing, capturing the flag. After all of Elizabeth's hard earned work too. Ah, oh, screw it. I charge towards the back table ignoring the danger behind me, standing around uh, like that is just going to get me killed. I dive behind the nearest piece of cover as I hear the enemy's laser pistol blare to life. It's down to the wire now. Final chance, right? I stand up, blindly firing my remaining shots at the figure that's just a few feet away. The figure drops her gun as, uh, into feet as a dead icon pops up over them. I'm dead. <laughs> I just, I'm dead. And she pops out a peach. Just out of nowhere. Were you allowed to bring that into here? <laughs> with that, Iryu places her gun on a nearby bench and pulls out a peach to munch on without a second thought. Apparently getting killed doesn't mean much. That was somewhat anticlimactic, especially given how lucky I was to have shot her despite me firing haphazardly. Beggars can't be choosers though. I promptly plant the red flag on her stand. It glows and responds and after a second of humming, clicks into place. A clear high tone bri uh, brings the game to a close. Game over. Victory blue. The hell? Masato? Intercom, please ex exit the room. 
but I got the flag. Please stop arguing with an artificial voice and exit the room. <laughs> what? That's a rough, awfully intelligent artificial voice right there. <laughs> Masato's uh, grumbling and prominent, but I noticed dark shapes covering, sorry, converging at the exit. Guess I'd better follow them. It takes a few moments to adjust to the blinding sunlight. Still everything, sorry, everyone seems to be fairly happy. Everyone except Masato, of course. Well, cause he lost, he's pissed. We're the rightful winners. Well, you would have been if someone didn't go on a wild goose chase instead of returning the flag. I was gonna, as soon as I caught up to the trash stalker, I mean. <laughs> then you probably sh shouldn't complain. Phone? Now is not the time. I'd miss the commotion. I noticed that Elizabeth is uh, strangely quiet. I was expecting her to glow with her victory. Maybe toss in a few snappish better than thou comments here or there. But she's just standing by the map. A faraway look on her uh, face, sorry, eyes as her lips are pulled into a smile. She had fun. Well, it couldn't be helped. We had the best leader, you know. I bet Yama took charge. Oh no, we were led to victory beneath the banner of the wise Elizabeth Ishiro. Ishiro? Ishiro? I think it's Ishiro. Um, she came up with all those fancy tactics and everything. To everyone's surprise, Elizabeth blushes slightly and lowers her head. Really? Good job. Thank you. Somehow, those simple words feel like more than a compliment. Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. I'll get my revenge. Oh, I'm counting on it. Thankfully, the conflict feels teasing rather than biting. Uh, I return to the map with a smile to pick out the next destination! Okay, what is next? Definitely Extreme Carousel. I guessed it. Dog goes woof, cat goes meow, bird goes tweet, and mouse goes squeak. Cow goes moo, frog goes croak, and the elephant goes toot. Dog say quack, and fish go blow, and the seal goes ow, ow, ow.